In 1892, Rusin immigrants decided there was a need to unite Greek Catholics of Rusin heritage, provide insurance to its members, and continue and encourage education. The GCU, or Greek Catholic Union, is the oldest continuous fraternal benefit society for Rusins in the United States. Here today to speak on behalf of the GCU is Shirley LaFleur of Lodge 302. Shirley. GCU Magazine, and with his permission, I'm going to ask him to come up and step in for me. Thank you, Shirley. You can hear me all right? Hold the mic off. These are Shirley's notes. Who is John Krenitsky? As publicity director of the Greek Catholic Union GCU Lodge 302, she had the privilege to say a few words here about John, which I will share with you, and his dedication to the Rusin Cultural Garden. What does she know about the Cultural Garden? Shirley admits very little. As GCU members in common, she learned a little bit more about the garden through her relationship with John. John attends lodge meetings and is a present at many functions. Especially notable is his presence when the need for a new CRS flag for the garden is in order. His request to pay for the flag is always approved by the voting members. The Rusin flag is custom made, nor is it inexpensive. No, it's not available to purchase off the rack at the local flag retailer. John handles most of his requests and projects in his usual quiet demeanor and just seems to get things done. So today we have the dedication of the bust of Father Alexander Dukunovich in this garden, which was originally dedicated 73 years ago. John was not here for that dedication. He retired 17 years ago. Shortly before that, he acquainted himself with this area of the city of Cleveland known as the Cultural Gardens. He would attend CRS meetings in Pittsburgh. Cleveland as yet did not have a chapter and he learned about the Rusin Garden and decided to pay a visit. What he found was certainly at that time not a picturesque site, but the big W weeds overgrown and out of control, not even signage to say what this place was. John made a commitment to bring this area back to life, and so 18 years ago, the Rusin Garden was on its way back. John's idea, along with recruiting other volunteers, was to give the Rusin people the respect and pride in their heritage. So much for his retirement. He engaged additional volunteers, and today, once again, the bust of Father Alexander Duknovich graces the garden and gives dignity and pride to the Rusin people. The Italian community has Angelo Petiti, and the Rusins have John Krenisky. We thank you, John, for all you do and what you are about. A Russian. <laughs> 